Hey guys, uh, as promised, uh, I'm going to do a Unity 101 tutorial on how to texture, um, paint, and sculpt a terrain. I'll also be showing you how to import um, vegetation assets and put grass down and even add a sun. Uh, this will be all very basic, so keep that in mind. It is a, it is a Unity 101, it's just basic Unity. Uh, there will be nothing advanced in here. Uh, I will, however, continue doing some series like this. A few guys to follow what we exactly we do on the project. Uh, I will next tutorial will most likely be covering skyboxes and other various um, things. Okay, so this is Unity. As you can see, it's loaded up here. Uh, if any of you have ever used 3ds Max before, you'll you'll notice this layout is sort of similar. You have your x, y, and z coordinates here. If you click on one of these, it will turn it into the um, viewports. You have a, a left side viewport or a front sort. Uh, you got top down. You got underneath as well. You can also pan the um, viewport by holding down the right mouse button and uh, moving it around. It will move your viewport as you can see at the top there. Okay. So and then you've also got the game scene as well. This is where the game will actually be. Uh, we'll move. We'll talk about this a bit more later on. Uh, okay. So let's start, shall we? First thing you want to do is you notice here I have, a, I have an, um, um, a tab at the top called Terrain. If you've got the newest port of Unity, it will not be in here. You'll have to go into Game Object, Create Other, and then it'll be down here and it'll say Terrain. Um, I'll explain as I go along as well how this affects when you're actually sizing the terrain. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to go into Terrain and click Create Terrain. As you can see, hopefully I'll be able to zoom now. No, I still can't zoom. So I'll use it this way. Okay, so as you can see here, we have... Um, our terrain, it's nice and big. I zoom out, it'll show you exactly how big it is. There we go. Okay, so there's our Unity um, terrain, yes? So this is how we start. Basically, now you want to size it up. So you go into the terrain tab again, but for um, anyone who is using the new Unity, you'll have to go into this tab here, which is the uh, cogwheel, and it will be down here somewhere. You'll find the settings. So you want to go into terrain, you want to go set resolution, you get your terrain width, your terrain height, your terrain length. Don't worry about these for the time being. Just focus on these three. Your terrain width. Normal normal sizes for terrain are 512, 124, 2048, and 4096. We're going to do a 4096 map on this one. Uh, do note, the higher resolution, the longer it will take to render out of your computer. Okay, so 4046 by 4046. Keep the height at 600 and set resolution. So as you can see, this is to increase the size dramatically. Okay, and now what we want to do is we want to go back in here, we want to click Flatten Height Map. Uh, now we want to set this to 100. Well, you can set it to any volume you want, but I definitely prefer 100. The reason we've done this is, so if we go into our, hold on, our lower raised terrain, we can actually delve. If we didn't do that, we wouldn't be able to delve. Okay. So let me explain these tabs. This tab here is the first tab. You'll be using this mainly for to, uh, sculpting the terrain. This is to raise and lower your terrain. You also have paint height. This I'll explain in more detail as we have a terrain built. This is to smooth your terrain. Once again, I'll explain this as we go. Painting terrain, so this will be later on. Trees, uh, you've got paint details. you got your cog, right. When Before you start um, modeling terrain, I'd like to show you something. Let me just increase the brush size so you can see this probably. Look at that, how nice and uh, smooth that is. Watch what happens when I let go of the button. Can you see? Now watch if I go in here and I change this back to zero. It's back, see? The detail, oops, the detail is back. Make sure you set your pixel error to one. Its default is five. There's five, there's one. There's five, there's one. As you can see, one keeps its detail. Okay, so let me just uh, get rid of that. There we go. So make sure it's always set to one. Okay. So today we're going to be modeling floor ten. Now uh, I will need to pull up a discrete, uh, a quick uh, reference image. So two seconds. So this is what we're going to be modeling today. Maybe we we might not add the ravine in, depending on uh, how we go about it. We'll see. So what we'll do first, we'll start off here in this corner. Generally, it's better to start off in a corner because then you can sort of know where you're going. So let's go and start off here. So if you notice, we've got the fortified village here. So let's get on to the corner. Ooh. Okay, so let's go on the corner. Here we are. So we'll start our build here and work our way around. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go into our raise and lower terrain. Now we notice a few bushes here. I advise you experiment with each brush because each brush 
does indeed um, give you different. Ignore the fact it's going fuzzy, it's because I'm not zoomed in far enough. It does uh, give you a different kind of detail, as you can see. Yeah, so make sure you experiment with these brushes. Generally, for terrain, I normally use this brush to increase the detail. And then later on, I'll fine tune it. So let's zoom in. No, not zoom out, zoom in. There we go. So we're about, about here. And we want to build it. So we'll start off in the corner, like I said. Actually, that's not the right brush. That's the wrong brush. It's this brush you want. Nope, that's the wrong one as well. This one. <laughs> I forgot which brush I use. Uh, it might be this one. Yeah, okay, this will do. So let's just model in a little bit of detail here. Now we want it so... Now, as a designer, you want to think about a level. So since it's a beginning level, let's make it so you have to actually... Uh, Enter through a crevice, or well, leaves through a crevice, sorry, so it's it's guarded by the mountains. There we go. So there's a nice little gap there. Let me see if we can bring that back so it's natural. Bring this back as well. There we go. Now, as you can see, we sort of modeled a little bit of terrain there. Okay. Now, that's does that look like mountains to you? No, it just looks like a, oops, it's like a pile of rubbish to me, to be honest. So, what we're going to do, I need to reset the height map actually. It seems to have unflattened itself. There we go, so let's just quickly remodel that again. So always make sure you have a height maps in so you can do that, say. I must have backspaced by accident, so let's just quickly rebuild this in. There we go, let's add the detail again. Okay, there we go. So there's our mountain, yeah. Like I said, I'm going to do this very quickly. Uh, I'd expect you guys to make sure you go in more detail with this than I am. I mean, even that's actually quite big. I didn't realize how big the brush was. So, yeah, make sure you always keep in detail. So, for example, and make sure you use a, a decently sized brush as well. You don't want to go too big, but you don't want to go too small either. So, always check your brush size. Generally, I find it's about 30 that's good for me. There we go. That's, that's giving us more detail, to be honest. That's a bit better. So, let's, let's create the crevice of where this level is going to be. There we go. So, that's going to be where the fortified city is held up. Obviously, we want to drag this out here. Like I said, I'm very rushing this. If I was doing this for real, I'd take a lot more time on this and make sure it's nice and neat so we don't have any errors. Like I said, there will be errors on this. There'll be errors all over. But remember, always take time with your work. Don't rush it. Especially when it comes to level design because we have to make sure it all works perfectly. Like you can see there, that's okay. So let's just get the tool again and continue on with this. Like I said, this is going to be very... And also, you know, he has this thing of doing it, and we can see where my brush is. Can you see what's doing there as well? It sometimes does that, so make sure you zoom in close enough so it doesn't do that. Okay, like there. Hold on. So I'm going to cut back when I've fully um, modeled all this out, just with the basic brush we're using right now. Okay, so as you can see here, we've added a little bit more detail. It still doesn't look like rocks, so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this brush. Decrease the size on this a little bit, and what we're going to do now is go in and add some nice detail. As you can see, uh, a, first, a mistake most users make when messing around with the brushes is they generally stick to one brush to make terrain. Uh, I'd advise you experiment with different brush types, uh, different sizes, and obviously mixing them. Like, I mean, this creates a nice sort of uh, mountainous feel. This brush right here adds the uh, extra bit of um, detail on the top of the mountains. Well, you won't get it with any most brushes. I mean, some brushes are nice, like this is quite good. This is more of a um, hilly biome feel. Not hill biome, sorry, yeah, more of a mountainish region. So this we're just going for like very crepid, old looking creepy mountains. So just experiment them. You'll eventually find a brush you like and just use that brush. So I'm just going to quickly do these, as you can see, like this. And we'll cut back in a second, guys. Okay, so as you can see, hold on a little second. There we go. So as you can see, I've modelled in a bit more detail, making these look a bit more like uh, crepid, rocky mountains, rather than flat. Uh, so as you can see, there's some nice detail in there. Obviously, I'm bothered with the term terrain, but we don't need to worry about that right now. See how it goes. Decide about if I do decide to add it, then I do. It's very simple. It's the exact same as this, except you hold down shift and you drag it in. Really, nothing to it. Um. Okay. So, and now I'll explain this button. This button is called paint hide. Basically, if you hold shift, and if you see you want to get to this height, you can click this height. As you can see, it's now 237. Now, if I hold the spot with this long enough, can you sort of see how it's forming the top ridge there, how it's all flat at the top? 
That's because it's hit the height. Now, if I click a bit lower and start going on this, can you see it's bringing it down? It's going to bring it down to that height I selected, which is 108. So you can see it's still got that little ridge. See? There you go. So that's what that tool does. It's very handy for actually getting a flat surface on an area that you need. Very, very handy tool. This tool here, smooth. It's pretty obvious what this does. Select a brush size, use it, and it sort of smooths off the mountain. So you can get a nice little feel of that as well. I mean, I could go over this entire thing. What I normally use smooth for is getting towards the bottom. So it gives that sort of nice, sort of a uh, smoothy sort of feel. See? I'm not going to do this for the entire thing. I'll just go here very quickly. So you can actually create some of a smooth sort of terrain at the bottom. Like, be good here as well. So, see? Okay, cool. So now we've got our terrain. I'm not going to bother with the ravine. I'll let you guys do the ravine. What we're going to do now is we're going to paint this uh, terrain. So what we want to do first is we want to zoom up. So there's our terrain. Looking quite nice. We've got our little starting area here. And all that. So that's our nice little terrain. So we want to go into this tab here, which is called Paint Texture. Before uh, you actually add a texture, if you're new to Unity, go into Assets, go into Export Package, and import all these except Pro, unless you have Pro. If you have Pro, then use them. Um, export all these, and basically it'll put them in folders like this, and then you'll be able to use the assets. So let's click back on this. So you're going to go into Edit Textures, Add Texture. You'll notice there's two kinds of texture. You've got texture and a normal map. A normal map is to add modeling that's not there. For example, like ridges and um, bumps and all that. I'll explain that in a later tutorial, so don't worry about that for now. We're going to go into texture. Obviously, you can get the, you can make your own textures. You can buy textures from a Unity uh, store and other means, and you can add them into Unity. Right now, we'll just these are all Unity's uh, pre-built, so you have all these to choose from. Here's a cliff texture. We'll use this for now. So you click this, you click Add Terrain, and you click Add. As you can see, it's colored in the entire thing. We don't want this because this area over here is going to be quite grassy. If we go back to the reference, as you can see, this area is full of jungle, so it's going to be nice and grassy. So let's load up Unity again. What we're going to need to do now is add another texture. Select Add. Let's get a grass texture this time. Uh, this will do. Okay, so once we add this one, you'll see it hasn't painted over it. So if we select this and then click Brush, we can actually start painting. The first texture you add to a terrain will be the main texture and it will apply to everything. The second texture you add, you can start painting on um, manually. So generally, if it's going to be a rocky area for, uh, with rocky uh, hills, generally good type the idea to put on a rock uh, sort of um, terrain base. That makes any sense to you guys. So let's just paint this in very quickly. Actually, let's do this proper. So it doesn't look like it's a mess. Well, too much of a mess anyway. So let's quickly add this in. So yeah, you get the idea. This is how you paint texture. Now wait until I uh, zoom out here so I can actually get some detail. I want to increase the brush size massively. So I can just quickly do this. So this is how you paint the terrain. Obviously you take a lot more detail and time with this than I have. I should get rid of the partner. Let's just do that properly. There we go. So you take a lot more time with I'm this. I'm just trying to show you guys how it's done. Yeah, so she's pretty spot on in the corner there. Okay, cool. So there you go. There's our paint the terrain. Obviously the ravine's missing, but you guys, I'll leave that guys to you guys to test out. And it's very simple to do. Like I said, you just hold it in and uh, start modeling that way. It's like modeling the mountains, but obviously using a ravine. You definitely use the uh, paint height though to get the bottom of the ravine nice and smooth. Okay, so now we've got our terrain. If I quickly zoom in, not zoom in too far actually. That'll do. Now, you should have actually imported something called the character controller when you were importing everything else. If I drag and drop this, this is a first person camera. So if I press F, it'll zoom in. Nice and neat. As you can see, there's our texture. If I drag this out, and then see this button here, this is play, this will take us to the game screen. There you go. There's our game. As you can see, it's too dark. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out with this. Game object, create other. Actually, let me zoom up first. So that might be a bad idea. <laughs> Uh, to zoom out, you use a scroll wheel, but my scroll wheel seems to be broken. So, create other, and you want to call something called directional light. This directional light right here is generally a sun. You could call this a sun. So, let's uh, rotate this as well, so it's nice and lovely. Right, if, as you can see, as I rotate it as well. Hold on, there we go. What's happened to the scene? Can you see the shadow? There you go. So, you can sort of get a feel. Maybe I want it a bit darker. Darker, a bit lighter, so you get the idea. So let's get it about about there, so you have that sort of shading. Okay, now if we play again, it 
suddenly a lot later. So nicer. I, obviously, I don't think you'll be able to see the sun because it's too far out. But yeah, it, adds, it acts as a sun. Obviously, this here, there is no skybox right now. So it's just a blank. So there's our hills over there, actually. So we go have a look at these. Obviously, as you can see, here's our terrain. This map is humongous, by the way. It would take about 30 minutes to walk one side to the other. So yeah, there's our mountains in the distance. Obviously, like I said, you'd take your time with them. You wouldn't rush to them as I have. So you can have a little look on your uh, mountain here. So there you go. There's your mountains over there. Let's get out of this play. Next thing you want to do, let's get rid of the first person control actually, and I'll show you this as well. You also have a third person control if you want to go on third person. Have a look. Let me just drop you up here. There we go. Some of you may have seen this guy from our uh, one of our screenshots. He was in the camping one. So there you go. This is third person. He runs on the spot. So there you go. There's our mountains up there as well. Nice. Okay. Cool. So that's third person as well. So let's get rid of you. Okie dokie. There we go. Zoomed out the terrain. Uh, okay. So what we need to do now is add some trees. Because we had a trees in our thing, you remember? So let's zoom in. Now you want to go into this tab called uh, Place Trees. Simple enough. Add tree. Then you get this option. Uh, you want to pick trees and obviously once again unity imports you got big tree you got a palm tree that's about it really so I'll grab the big tree I'm gonna add this okay brush size let me zoom in a little bit on this drag it over a little bit as well there we go so we're gonna paint this not all of it though because it'll take a little while what we're gonna do if you look if I click if I zoom in Zoom in. It paints trees. Obviously, they're very small, very small trees. Um, as you can, because it's such a big level, so that's why it would take a humongous time to actually paint this. What if I zoom in? There we are. As you can see, okay. So it paints trees. Now, if I edit the tree density down though, can you see what it does now? It spreads them out. Okay. You got a color variant, which make them darker or lighter. It also adds different colours ones if you look, you can see that's lighter than that one. But uh, yeah, you can also add them. Tree height affects the height of the trees. So you want a really high. Or really low. It's up to you. Generally I just find it to have it in the middle. 100. Or 115, something like that. That's fine. For me. Uh, you got variation. Obviously if you have more trees. You have more variation. Okay, let's get rid of that. Okay, cool. So we also tree width. So that's basically how you place trees. You'd import your own models, or you go into as you go into assets, and then import a new asset, and then you pick it from your folder, and then you import, and then you can use that asset. So let's zoom out. Let's quickly add some assets to this. Let's see what brush size we can go up to. See how quickly we can add these. Can't really see them, can you? Can't really see them at all because the tree density is so low. Still can't see them. Wow. Oh, wait, because I've got no trees defined. Oops. That was that was my bad. Okay, so let's just add that. There we go, so let's just paint some trees. Can we see them from distance? Nope. We need to be up close. So it's about there until we can see them. So yeah, let's just shut tons of these everywhere. And then obviously the more trees you have, the uh more laggier it can actually be. Some more particles need to be rendered in one spot. Uh, so yeah, there goes our trees. Let's get rid of our. Uh, let's put our first person down here. Zoom in on them. Okay, there's one thing as well I want you to notice is uh, the trees. Hold on. There you go. Let me just properly pan out on this so I can show you what I mean. Zoom out. Okay, so you look at these trees, yeah. Then it's gonna work. For me or not. So they look like that, yeah, but when you get close they're they're three D models. But if you zoomed out far enough, they turn into billboards, which is a two D model. And the reason for that is obviously you don't be rendering too many trees on one screen. So let's zoom in. Let's have a look at our trees. It may take it may take a little while. Which the simple fact is it may have brought oh it's because I'm in scene view. Let's get a scene view and gameplay mode. Obviously it's paused right now. There we go. So these are trees. Now if I go way back, you'll see what I mean. 
Hopefully, anyway. Can you see how they change? Can you see how it sort of pops into place? Look at this one here. Hold on. See this one here. Watch it. Watch it pop into place. Can you see? That's basically, that's a 2D. That's 3D. 2D. 3D. 2D. 3D. Okay. So let's have a little, little look at our trees. This is our forest. Can you see the variation? Oh, can you see them pop in there? Can you see them there? You can see them pop in as we move. So yeah, now these are 3D models. And I believe they're actually moving with the wind. No, they're not, but they should be solid. Nope. Uh, hmm. Oh, that's because it's a Unity model. Uh, so this is our trees. There we go. We have a nice little forest. Cool. So there you go. That's that's how you had trees. Now it looks a bit bare without any grass. So let's hope. I hope to God this one works now. Let's get rid of that. I want to be selecting this. Now there's another function here called paint details. Now the way paint details works is you select a detail, which is grass texture, and obviously you'd select it from Unity. Obviously, I want this grass, so there you go. And we want to add it. And we want to see this last time as well. For some reason, it's not actually. Oh, there it is. It is registering the grass. It's just being a pain in the ass. That's why. But for some reason, it's painting it over there. So, as you can see, there's the grass there. It's just a bit low. Uh, so, let's have a look why that's happening. It's probably because we're not zoomed in close enough. But yeah, there's the grass there. So, if you edit the opacity. It'll space them out a bit more. Let's just have a little look at that there. If I go into this, should be able to turn straight around. Should grass should be there. We are. So it did imply it's just not showing it on my Unity screen for some reason. Um, so as you can see here, the grass goes on and on and on. So that's basically how you add grass. Uh, your opacity would um, blend the grass in more with the uh, surroundings. Oh, this has gone far, isn't it? Um, so yeah, your opacity blends it in. Uh, so the lower opacity, the more it's going to blend in with the thingy below it, and the less there's going to be. Brush size, obviously, it will depend on how, many, how big the uh, placement's going to be. And if you use target strength, it can actually um, change uh, how many you put down. You can also edit the colour. Like This doesn't look very real, does it? It may look pretty good, but it does look pretty... Like, it wouldn't fit the uh, terrain. This terrain being you know, dead and all that whatnot. So you can change the colour. So if I go out of this, yes. So it is adding it, it just isn't wanting to show me at all. There we go, that's bare. It was because I zoomed out too much, so let's get rid of this. You can get rid of it by holding shift. So let's get rid of this. I can actually show you now with the uh, details. So if I change the opacity high up, you can add more, yeah? The opacity is way down. It rarely adds anything, that's because it's in zero. It rarely adds anything, okay? Target strength, put this way down, nothing. Very little thing. So, depending on how you want it, is up to you. There you go. Now, what else we need to do? If I get rid of these first, just so you can understand. There we go. Just all the way off to spawn. There you go. If I go back at this and change these to more of a dark color, like let's go with uh, like gray for you. And dark grey for you. No, not yellow. Dark grey. And you got me apply. You start placing the textures. Obviously, increase the opacity a bit. There we go. Then we go to play. Can you see how it's sort of blending a little bit more now? It looks more natural. So you mess around the colours really and see what you like. So yeah, that's basically how you texture, how you sculpt, how you uh, add trees and any other vegetation, by vegetation I mean bushes, plants, uh, you name it, anything really like that. You can import straight rocks as well and stuff like that, you can import straight into Unity that way. So this has uh, been the first episode of uh, uh, Unity 101, I hope you enjoyed. The uh, next episode will probably be covering skyboxes, maybe height maps, we'll see how it goes. Uh, if you like this guys, let me know. And I can always do more. I don't mind. I'll be choose. I will be putting out modeling 101, uh, concept concept art 101. Um, if you want, we can put out music 101, and we can also put out um, animation 101. But that won't be until September because I need to get back to university to animate. And I'm just trying to think: is there any other parts we're missing? No, that's about it, guys. I think I've covered everything. Uh, so yeah. If I'd recommend you try and get a hold of Unity, I think this is one point. This is four point one point two, 
uh, the new update's 4.2. Uh, it's kind of a bit messed up with the terrain, like the idea of uh, how to actually go into your setting sab to set the height and everything. It's a bit of a pain. I prefer it even E101. So yeah, guys, that's uh, basically been the tutorial. Like I said, if you liked this, uh, thumbs up, comment, subscribe, comment if comment comment if um, anything was a bit off. If I give you any bit of inf uh, wrong information, feel free to correct me. Uh, other than that, guys, I shall see you soon and peace out.